and it borders on pastime. Uh, from where you sit, uh, tell us how we must turn around sport. Where the players, the country, and everybody is going to make money out of it so that our athletes, our footballers, actually are in gainful employment. And at the end of the day, we can say from that ministry, our contribution to GDP is so much. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Well done, Mary. Follow suit, one question. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. It's going to be one question. Honorable nominee, thank you for enacting the 2013 Sports Act that encompassed the five pillars, namely the Kenya Academy Sports that was to deal with talent, <laughs> the registrar's office that was to regulate sports, uh, Sports Kenya that was to work on the infrastructure, the sports fund that was to do resource mobilization, and the sports tribunal. My concerns are as follows. 65% of the nearly 4 billion for sports fund goes to health and only 30% to sports. What are you going to do about that? Kenya Academy of Sports is a factor of talent. You but as, one. As, they are just related to that. <laughs> eh? But as it stands, most of the officers are in Nairobi, stranded in Nairobi. Instead of going to Garissa, going to Teso South, to Chakol, and scout for these talents, reason being, there are no fans. Yet we have so many teams that have been formed in all our villages, and some of them are registered in the national leagues. But who is scouting this talent so that we can expose our young people, the youths, uh, for them to be, to be noticed and for it to be of use to them? Then finally, we understand that the Sports Act is due for review. What will your priority be in the review? Thank you. Thank you. Nice one. What is the plan to tap talent in arts, sports, and nurture it from an early age, and especially from all parts of the country, and especially the rural areas, because there's a lot of untapped talent there? And uh, lastly, on our, especially athletes, you know, every time our national anthem uh, is played out there and how proud they make us, do you feel or do we really appreciate them as much, even our footballers, why are people changing their citizenship to other countries? Is it that, what is the plan to ensure that uh, we, we take care of them so that they don't have to sell their nationality to be appreciated out there? Those are four, a babalistic, uh, the fifth, Amisi, and Koech. We can, you can do six, they're very short questions. If you answer them the same way, we'll make very good progress. Yeah, thank you, Chairman. I had two, so I reserve one at the tail end if we get time. I'll ask yes. one for now. Okay. Uh, so remember to give me if there's time. Um, the ministry, uh, one nominee, the ministry seems to not be keen on our community clubs. We find, in fact, uh, myself have spent millions of shillings trying to sponsor a tournament as a member of parliament. Once the tournaments are over, these boys are just remained with trophies and a cash uh, a a sponsorship. But beyond there, they are remaining remain in the villages. And yet, they are talented. Uh, you try to invite the sports uh, organizations, the, all the 18 premium clubs, they don't turn up, they don't come to scout. Where? Uh, what is new that you are bringing so that our local clubs, local, even the stadium, they are dilapidated and that is where the talents are. You are talking about bottom up. The, the talents are actually at the bottom. There are, there are no football manufactured in towns. There are manufactured down there. And I think, I believe this is, this is the gap. Uh, we are supposed to be a football nation. What are you going to do different this time? Around? I will see you in Matisse, Black Stars there, Mitume FCs, that you are playing with them. In fact, probably could have come in your sporting gear, not in a suit, because that's where you are going. Thank you. Coach? Um, Honorable Babu, my question has been asked, but I will just 
to the left again, uh, but I'll just uh, give you something to uh, food for thought. That our 